Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be discussing some liquid glitter shadows. We are going to be comparing the MAC Dazzle Glass shadows with the Stila Glitter and Glow liquid shadows. So I will not be testing out the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow because I know I love this product already, but I did want to see how this Dazzle shadow from MAC um, kind of matches up. These are newer, not like the newest thing, um, but I haven't heard that many people discuss them and I just wanted to see how they kind of compared to each other. They're super fun to play with and I actually came up with this look and gave you kind of an eye makeup tutorial, if you will. Um, so I thought it was kind of fun. I wanted to do something purple because it's like Halloween, so I got my black shirt on. We got the orange background. We're here for it. We're in theme. We're in season. And yeah, without further ado, if you're interested in seeing my thoughts and first impressions on these MAC Dazzle Glass eyeshadows and how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep watching. Alright, so first things first, I want to kind of talk about these things before we go in and start playing with them. Um, like I said, these are the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquids. And um, these remind me a lot of the Stila ones, and I do have a few Stila ones here, just so we can kind of see how they compare because those ones are my absolute favorite. So I have the shade Not Afraid to Sparkle, and then Panther Size, Panther Tized, Panther Tized. So this is kind of like a really pretty topper. Um, it's got some gold reflex in it, um, some purple. But I would say this one, the base is definitely a little bit more gold. And then for Panther Ties, this one is just like a straight purple glitter. But it's really unique. It leans a little bit green and it reflects gold and definitely some black in there. I don't know if you can see me twisting it. Um, if you can kind of see what's going on there. So that's really cool. These are kind of unique. Um, not duochrome, but they do have some dimension to them, which is nice. Um, so I just want to quickly swatch these two. And I only got two because I honestly, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about these and I didn't want to spend um, a ton of money because these are not that cheap. So um, this is Not Afraid to Sparkle here. I mean, it's pretty, but it's just like a glitter top coat. Okay. And this is Panther Ties, like I said. Okay, so this one definitely has like some color to it. You can clearly see that it's not only purple glitter in like a clear liquid, it's a purple, black, green base, and then it has those reflex in it, which is cool. So I do have two of the Stila Magnificent Metals here, um, just to do a little comparison because I know people are curious. Um, this is Diamond Dust and then um, Smoky Storm. So Diamond Dust, I would say, is pretty comparable to, I don't know if you can see that, pretty similar. They're, they're a similar tone. Um, I think this one is a little bit more silver, though. I mean, these are just so much more, like these Stila ones, if you can see right there, it's just it's straight glitter. That's why people love these so much, because it's not like a glitter top coat, um, but it's literally just, oh my god, these are incredible. It's just straight shimmer glitter. So you can even see this MAC one that I swatched here in the middle, but you can definitely see this one and then the two Stila ones. Not totally impressed with this one. I don't know. Maybe this would be pretty for holidays as like I said, like an eye topper kind of situation. Um, but I want to go in and play with the purple just because I don't typically lean towards this color. I don't really love purple eyeshadows, but I think it would be fun. So I'm going to do kind of like a talk through tutorial and then we're going to discuss this at the end, see how it applies, all that kind of stuff. Um, so first things first, I'm going to go into my Anastasia uh, Prism Palette, and I'm going to take this shade here, Lure. It's kind of like a mauve pink, and I'm just going to throw that a little bit above my crease, and this is going to be kind of our transition-y shade. Now I'm going to go into my Tartlet Palette, and I'm going to take the shade here, Best Friend. It's kind of a darker mauve purple color. I'm just taking that inner to outer corner just to deepen up that crease a little bit. So now I'm going to go into the shade Bombshell right here, this kind of like eggplant purple. And I'm going to just kind of fluff that into the crease really low.
That's literally all I'm going to do because I don't want to take away too much from the sparkle. I'm going to go straight in with this on the lid. <sighs> That's really patchy. Hmm. Okay. It's not as opaque as when I swatched it on my hand, which is frustrating, but that's okay. Instead, I'm just going to go in with Fashionista here, this black shade, and I'm going to use that as my base, I think. Let's see how this works out. Now on that definer crease brush, I'm going to go back into Bombshell, this eggplant color here, and I'm just going to diffuse all of that black into the crease. Just make sure everything blends really nicely. Black can be tricky because you don't want it to run too high up into the crease because then it just looks muddy and kind of like you got. All right, so now we have that nice gradient effect going on our eyelid. Let's go ahead and try applying this one more time. And when I get to the crease, I'm just kind of like feathering it out, fluffing it out. Wow, this dries really fast. Okay, it's kind of cool. It's different. I don't know. I think it definitely looks like more wet than sparkly. I like it, I just, maybe the purple is throwing me off because I'm not a purple person, but it's, it's interesting. I mean, it was pretty easy to work with once you put down the base, but this is definitely not nearly as opaque as the Stila ones. Um, the Stila ones, I do still typically put down a base, but this, I guess, because it's just such a dark purple, kind of blackish glitter color, it was definitely a lot more patchy. Um, also seeing it on my eye, it looks a lot different than it does in the tube. In the tube, it's you can see like green and gold and black reflex. It's really unique looking. Um, and on my eye, it just looks like purple glitter. <laughs> so you kind of use lose that when you apply it to your eyelid. It's literally just like bright purple glitter. So it's a little bit deceiving. Um, the tube looks really cool. But on the eye, it's not, there's not as much dimension as there is when you just look at it in the packaging, which is a little bit disappointing. This just doesn't like wow me. I don't know. I don't, I don't love it. Um, the product itself is fine, but it does transfer a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on my finger. It doesn't dry down completely unless I just didn't give it enough time. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish my other eye off camera and then I'll be back to chat with you a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna give my eyelids a little bit longer to dry and I figured that we would just go in and finish up the rest of this eye look while we wait. So I actually realized in my drawer I have the perfect eyeliner for this eye look. This is um, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. I have a million of these, I use them all the time. And this is in Psychedelic Sister. So I'm gonna smoke that out with Osiris, this like bluish purple sparkly color here. It's not the exact same color, it's a little more blue, um, but it does reflect purple and it kind of is the closest thing I have. Now I'm going to go in with Best Friend here, this center shade, and I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and just smoke that out. So I'm going to go into Dimension here, this kind of icy purple color, and I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. 
One thing I'm really curious to test out with these eye glitter dazzle shadows um, is how a liquid liner lays on top of it. Um, so I have the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper Black. I just want to see how a black liner will apply on top of the glitter, if it skips, if it's smooth. So this is the true test. Not bad, not bad at all. So I just quickly wanted to recap and kind of finish up this like tutorial first impression thing. I don't really know what this is gonna be called um, because it's just kind of a mix. Comparison, I don't know. We're gonna see what it is. <laughs> all right guys, so this is the complete look that I came up with. Um, I finished off with some uh, velour fluff and dolled up lashes. They're just really um, kind of spiky looking. Um, they make your eyes look really, really big. And I thought they were kind of edgy and complemented this look really, really well. And then my lip color is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, and this is one of the chocolate ones. And this is in the shade 848 Dose of Cocoa. I personally really love the way this look came out. I think it's really fun. It's different. I don't like purple. Um, and I definitely don't like purple on me for sure. Um, but I think it's really complimentary to brown eyes. I think it's really pretty and I'm really happy with it. But what we're really here to discuss are these um, MAC Dazzle Shadow liquids. Um, like I said, I was not impressed with all of them. Um, the purple was pretty, it was pigmented, it was kind of opaque. Um, as you saw, I did have to lay down a black shadow to give it a little bit more oomph. But, you know, it was it was nice. It's, it's nothing terrible. It's definitely easy to work with. They do dry down. Nothing's coming off my finger now, which is really nice. Um, they're not as chunky as the steel ones, I have to say. The steel ones, the glitter is not as fine. The one thing that was kind of disappointing to me is what ended up on my eye was not true to what was in the tube. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of dimension in this shadow. It, there's greens and golds and black, all sorts of reflex. But what I ended up with on my eyelid was just straight purple glitter, which I mean is pretty, but it's just not what you're expecting when you're using something like this. You kind of want more dimension and something kind of cool and fun, and it was just purple glitter. So honestly, you could just use a cosmetic glitter to achieve the same look. I don't know if you necessarily need to go and spend all of your money on this. Um, but it does dry really nicely. It's no mess. You don't need a glitter glue or anything like that. Um, I literally just primed my eyelids with a concealer and then set that with a translucent powder and went in and did my eyeshadows as I normally would. And it's actually laying really pretty. Um, it's not as dark as I anticipated it being and it's, it doesn't pack quite as much of a punch. Um, it is a little bit dulled down. I didn't blend that much. Um, so the glitter is definitely on there if you can see like there's there's glitter on my eye It's just not as crazy as what's in the tube which some people might like they might want something a little bit more toned down But I just think it's a little bit deceiving in my opinion these I have to say the Stila liquid eyeshadows are still my favorite I've played with these so much. I've used them for formal events. I've used them for every day I've used them as like an inner corner pop. I've put them all over my eyelid. They're really comfortable to wear They don't flake they last a really really long time and they are my favorite still although I do have to say because the glitter in this was a lot finer my eyeliner was really easy to apply it was really smooth I find sometimes with these it can skip a little bit um, which you know it's just really personal preference on what look you're going for in the end I am glad that I bought both to test out I don't know if I'm gonna use this too often, but I mean, they're pretty, they're fun to have in your collection, but I don't see myself reaching for this as much as the Stila one because this one is just so intense. It packs that punch, it's glittery, it's so pretty. There's so much dimension in it. And this one just seems like a top coat with very sparse glitter. So it does have a clear base, which you might like because you can layer it on top of different shadows and kind of play with the color that way. But this one, like I said, I was just a little disappointed. Um, it was a little bit streaky, but all in all, it's not a terrible product. It's not my favorite, but it's also not horrendous. 
All right guys, so this is going to conclude my kind of tutorial review comparison video. Um, like I said, I'm really thrilled with how this makeup look came out. It was fun for me to just kind of sit down and play with product, not really have too much structure. It was just kind of fun to play with some makeup and give you my thoughts and impressions and put together a look um, while I was sitting here. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Feel free to leave me a comment down below on what you wanna see next. And until next time.